All right, guys, we're over here at the wrap shop. I have a lot of wraps going down. You see behind me is this SVJ. We're not supposed to be showing this, but we are. This is like a signal green type color, a little bit darker between a signal green and like a lime green, but it is solid and it's a really dope color. This used to be that blue SVJ. So now it's going to be green. It's going to have the white wheels on it still. It's going to be a very different looking SVJ. So we're super excited about that. In the back over there, we have Mosan that was white and now it's fully satin black. Tough car to wrap when it's all white. You got to wrap everything, door jams, take all that massive chrome out, paint it, powder coat it. That's probably one of the toughest wraps you could do, tougher than this thing. Over there, we got a new S-Class. We're wrapping from black to white, so reverse. A lot of white to black, black to white's going down. I'm not sure why, I guess people availability with cars change their minds. We have a wide body ears build over there. Behind the Mosan is another Aventador that we wrapped in a Nardo gray color. So as you can see right here, one, two, three, four wraps going down at the same time. And then we have a bunch of cars behind me over there for storage and other wraps. Kenny has a black or olive green wall over there. Apparently they don't know what black is. So it's a little bit of like a greenish black. You told them to paint it black? I didn't tell them to do anything. They do whatever they want apparently. <laughs> the other side really is going to be all black and then they're going to mount all the wraps on there and stuff. So just making it like a wrap. They're definitely not making a game room. So not a game room. Play. This is wraps only. So back to work. Is it a game room? Yeah. The cheapest Probably. black paint is green. It's like army green. Those are kind of cool. It's a cool color. Mm -hmm. They oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a Dodge Challenger here. This car belongs to uh, Billie Eilish. So this car is in here for a lot of stuff, actually. There's bodywork damage on this car. Also, you guys can see the faded hood on this thing. This car is parked outside a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and change, take off all the wrap. We're gonna apply a satin clear bra finish after the car is repaired. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this car as well. Original color on this car is gloss black. We're gonna make sure the car is brand new, like factory, put a satin clear bra on it and get it brand new for her. So this is the same car. This is the same car that's here. Oh my God. This is exactly why her car is damaged everywhere. It went on the water. Come on, baby. What a sick. Hey, Woo! You going shopping? What's up, puppy? You going Christmas shopping? Yeah. What are you buying? I need something cool. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. We have everything. Extra large. Like that? Yeah, something. Nothing. You didn't buy anything? You don't have what I need. What did you need though? A painless dense fix. Ah! <laughs> Put a fly in my mouth. Hey, look at these. Jaguar's awesome AC vent moving signature. Signature move as they call it. And my favorite part of the Jaguars are these part. So we have this Jaguar here. It's gonna be about 100 degrees this whole week. Super hot. This customer unfortunately did not have AC for like two days driving like this. Car came in yesterday. We did put in a brand new compressor in it. Santos did the job. This car is back to normal. We're testing the AC system out right now. It is super cold. Customer's gonna be super happy. Let's call him and let's get this thing out of here. Where's this car? 2015, this compressor is about seven years old. I know my math. Pretty bad. Like this car? That's like a baby SVJ. Which one do you like? This one or the Pista? I think it's I think it's a sick. But like this part is crazy. Okay, so actually it's ironic. This is an M5. Yes. Competition. Yes. So similar to your car. Almost. Similar. Yes. Yeah. But this one's lighter than yours. Yes. So it's faster. Yeah. So this part's faster than your car? Yeah. I guess all the M5s are getting attracted to Sarkis because we showed you guys a blue M5 with similar damage where right. but that one's the right side, right? Yes, that's this the right is the side, this is the left side. side. Could just so, walk the park. Yeah, yeah. the driver's <laughs> side of this car is gone and the blue on the right side Same is damage. Gone. As you can see, there's no quarter panel on this car. This is the quarter panel. Yep, you can see some of the damage still here, but right now Carlos cut it out. As you can see, this is the new quarter panel from BMW and yeah. it's going to go here. So this job is probably close to 35 grand in total. That part it's actually just metal, so it's not that much. How much is that quarter pound? 1200 bucks for that quarter Oh, that's not bad. So not, it's just the not too shabby. No, just the hours. It's, it's a lot of labor. So cutting it out is probably yeah. not too difficult. The hardest process is going to be to line up and weld and you got to take more stuff yeah, apart, like more covering, too. a lot of stuff going on. So this M5 and the other M5, a lot of body shop work. Again, we show you guys custom cars, wide body cars, our own wheel line, our own podcast, our own YouTube channel. Wild. It's a wild place and we love to show you guys on YouTube what we do. So there you have it. An M5 that half of it is pretty much missing. And, uh, Did you pick these jobs because they're M5s? 
We don't pick jobs, it just comes to us. We have an R8 that actually came from Texas, an actual uh, BMW certified shop fixed the right side of it. And the whole right side, I guess, is not painted right. It's not put together right. So he actually shipped it from Texas for us to fix it. And he's actually going to be going after the body shop with the attorney. Look so. how many BMW we have. We have R5, BMW 640, another R5. I had a yeah. 3 Series, I had an Escalade, I had a two G wagons. I have another one there. You don't have anything. It's the company. It's me. Um, not them. But yeah, that's the thing it's with me. us. Like it's we, we do two videos a week, and we can't always show you guys like completed project cars. We do a lot of this day to day work too, and to make this interesting, you know, we have to talk about it and show you the dirty work. If they want to still see it. They can just spend the time with me and just we can do a video from the start all the way to finish. <laughs> your head, your head is very <laughs> sharp. All right, we're standing behind this Urus right here. This car actually had a front end accident, so we have to replace the whole front end. The car was also wrapped in a gray color. So right now, Javier here is removing all the wrap. This car was wrapped for like a year or so under the sun. It gets a little bit hard to remove after, so I have to use some cleaner and all that stuff. You remove the little trunk spoiler right now to get the wrap off, but yeah, it had to be fully apart. You can see some wraps still up there. We're gonna remove the roof spoiler to get that wrap off as well. The antenna's still wrapped too, so the antenna has to come off. We're almost there. This one has a Vorsteiner kit on there. As you can see, it's not wide body. I know you guys see wide bodies here more often than standard body Uruses. So yeah, this one's getting done. We have three wide body Uruses getting fixed right now. We have a new wide body Urus project in the works. We have a black wide body Cullinan we're finishing up. So we're super excited about that. We just finished the blue one. So now we're onto a black one. So that one is going to be nice because it's going to be all black. But the wheels are going to be very special. So stay tuned for that one. All right, so customer has hit this uh, right side, right front wheel about a million times. So we can't really do much right now, as you guys can see, beautiful technology, Mercedes. It literally shows the right front wheel highlighted with yellow. And yeah, so 37 PSI is in this thing right now. It's losing air. We're gonna just temporarily just put some air in it, uh, get him by until like tomorrow or the next day. And yeah, so we have to order a new wheel for him and that's what we're gonna do. In a tire repair. I am the king of tire repair. When you're filling it up, no. Yeah. One of it is right here. The other one is right here. And your new friend is over here. So you only see it when it's rolling. So it's ready. I'll call you and I'll see you in five days to put some air on the tire again because you're going to probably get <laughs> elephants on the way. <laughs> it runs over everything. Take it out. Take the shielding off, yeah? So, we are doing another wide body calling in. That car we actually blacked out and put 26s on it a while back. The customer opted to do the Tech 16 wide body kit. So, Right now, everything's painted already, and Luis is going to install the kits. These are the new wheels, which are actually very similar to his wheels, but he couldn't use his wheels because they're not for a wide body. These are for the wide body, and as you can see, they're no longer just black wheels. We went a little bit crazy on this one, and we did the full face and brushed. This has 50 spokes, so you see, each spoke is gonna be the most impossible wheel to clean, but brushed face with black windows on 50 spokes on 26s. Um, right now I'm trying to open these aluminum caps, which are very crazy. But yeah, we couldn't use the OEM caps because they're actually plastic and they are chrome. So in order to match the wheel, we got aluminum caps made and they're also brushed to match. So now that goes in the middle, so it matches everything. And the Rolls Royce goes in the middle there. Maybe if you go get me a Rolls Royce cap. Yeah. We got aluminum caps, so it matches very nicely. This middle one is original, obviously, so it floats, doesn't leak. Look at this crazy big wheel. This driving, here, I'll give you a little sample. What's that, another body kit? That's the front bumper for the McLaren in the back. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. oh he sucks! You need two hands. Oh, 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 o
Oh! <laughs> <laughs>